couple of years I've uh, been in the thousands of talks I give all over the place. I, I've found myself uh, kind of reluctantly giving talks about uh, endangered species, uh, meaning by that things like uh, democracy, uh, human rights, uh, socioeconomic development, uh, others. Uh, but the prime one, uh, unfortunately, is uh, human beings. The best way to control people is by fear. After September 11th, some of the press, particularly the Wall Street Journal, began uh, investigating uh, opinion in the, in the region. They were trying to find out the answer to George Bush's plaintive question, uh, why do they hate us when we're so good? I use the official U.S. government definition of terrorism, which uh, totally enrages people. Because if you take the official definition, it follows right away that terrorism is official U.S. government policy and that the U.S. is a leading terrorist state. If you don't do what we tell you, you'll just be pulverized. We don't care what you think or what you say. That's their attitude. What's unusual in this case is a brazen announcement that we're going to dominate the world by force. If necessary, we'll have the capacity to do it. The um, strategy report quite explicitly declared the, the most powerful state in to maintain its, dominance uh, over the world. use of uh, military force. One dimension in which it ranks supreme. Obvious consequence aggressiveness and militancy of the Bush administration. The Russians are going to respond and the Chinese are going to respond. And others will respond. Yeah. We're going to destroy you. People don't say thanks. The official formulation is Our forces that will be strong to enough to dissuade potential adversaries from pursuing a military in hopes of surpassing or equaling of the United States. The uh, Russians have very uh, prominently uh, carried out their biggest military maneuvers in two decades. Uh, advanced offensive weapons and the most sophisticated and destructive missiles in the world. Aimed at the United States, have adopted Bush's first strike doctrine. They've placed these forces on automated response. It's a huge threat to us. Our systems are vastly more sophisticated than theirs. strategy begins with a fundamental commitment to maintaining a unipolar world in which the United States has no peer competitor, a condition that is to be permanent so that no state or coalition could ever challenge the United States as global leader, protector, and enforcer. When we say we're going to attack anyone, we want without credible evidence, we need proof we're going to attack Iraq without credible evidence, and they don't have any, and they didn't have anything. carrying out a major assault against the general population. They know it, people know it. You've got to divert attention away from The only way that anyone's ever figured out is fear. Just pull a couple of lines out of uh, standard children's stories or uh, you know, ancient epics about how an evil monster is coming to destroy you. form of the goal of the gem. Are there uh, ways of stopping and shifting? We're not living in Turkey, Colombia, Equatorial Guinea, we're for society. It's very important, I think, to get these people out of office. They hold a, they have an extremely narrow hold on power. It's very fragile. And with another mandate, they could do severe, maybe even irreversible damage. People who achieved things knew that you don't do it by one demonstration. You want changes, you want to work day after day. Some things will fail. Do more of a build up from where you were last night. That's the way things are. Freedom isn't a gift from anyone. You know, it was won by centuries of struggle, but we enjoy it. We can use it. 
these are the deep abysses into which we ought to be peering. The good side of the story has been a constant improvement. The place is just a lot more civilized. It continues a historical it's course. It's been a long struggle to attain more, more rights, more democratic control, and it's continuing and probably accelerating. And it's a tendency running counter to the tendency towards destruction. And exactly which curve is going to move up faster will determine the fate of the species. That question is pretty much in the hands of people like you. First question, obviously, is whether what I'm saying is correct. Second question, uh, is it, uh, is it uh, radical? And almost everything I've said here is the opinion of a considerable majority of the American population. When I say I think we should have a sensible uh, health care system, uh, that's speaking for the majority. Of the yes, population. it's politically impossible, but that doesn't make it radically. That's right. a problem about the nature of the way the system functions. It is functioning as a failed state. The population cannot enter the political arena. It can't even get information. The democratic system is formally there. Yeah. Push a button, but it's not functioning in a serious mm -hmm. way. That's a radical left position. It's a very conservative position.